Good afternoon, Madam Chair, members of the committee. For the record, my name is Chris Casco. I'm an attorney for the New Hampshire Department of Safety. I hold the position of administrator of the Bureau of Hearings. I oversee the attorney hearings examiners and Department of Safety prosecutors. I'm appearing before you this afternoon in opposition to House Bill 1531. I do have a position paper which documents our position in detail, but I'll just give you a few highlights and then take some questions. And we do understand that this does create an affirmative defense. It doesn't legalize victimless crimes. However, it will have that effect if it becomes law because initially the police may still charge these crimes and choose to litigate that in court and to allow the defense to assert this. But after how many trials where someone is found not guilty because this is a perfect defense to these crimes, will the state then decide that our resources are better spent elsewhere and stop prosecuting these crimes? I think that is the consequence, is these crimes will no longer be prosecuted. Essentially, they will no longer be crimes if this bill passes. A couple of the victimless crimes that we think that are very dangerous to public safety in the Motor Vehicle Code, first, driving under the influence of alcohol or controlled drugs. If there's no crash, there's no victim. That behavior would be encouraged by this bill, creating a drastically dangerous situation out on our highways because people drinking and driving will know, hey, as long as I don't crash, I won't lose my license, I won't have to go to court, I won't go to jail. People will take that risk if there is no threat of prosecution for DWI, and I think the same can be said for just about any driving misdemeanor level offense. That will create a dangerous situation out on all of our public roads in New Hampshire. A couple of other examples, prostitution, gambling, and those are victimless crimes under the definition in this bill. However, some of the consequences of that behavior will have victims down the line. Prosecution or prostitution, you will have transmission of disease, you will have the enslavement of individuals for this trade down the line because there's no longer any prosecution. All of the drug offenses will go away, they'll be obliterated in the criminal code, yet drug offenses have consequences down the line, addiction, theft to support habits will all result. Therefore, New Hampshire will become a place I don't think many of us would want to live in. It will become a safe haven for drug traffickers, for people who want to engage in illegal activity. So for all of these reasons, we strongly oppose this bill. It is bad for public safety. It is bad public policy. So I recommend that you ITL this bill. I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you for being with us today. Would it be fair to say that it's the goal of law enforcement to stop crime before we have a victim? But under this bill, a law enforcement officer might be hesitant to act until there actually was a victim to the crime? Thank you, Representative. I think, yes, that would be the effect. Trying to prevent crimes will be very difficult under this bill. Essentially, the entire role of law enforcement will change to responding to victim crimes. Unfortunately, our troopers will be responding to crash scenes and prosecuting those. And we'll have many more of those if this bill passes. And just to follow up, it make law enforcement reactive instead of proactive. Yes, Thank I agree you. with that. Thank you very much. Thank you.